So I took yesterday off my workout and I've been doing good about making sure that I get enough protein and stretch really well after my workout before I even leave the gym. And then I try to do a little bit of stretching even before I go to bed again. But I noticed last night I was feeling really sore in my arms. I did some stretches and it felt good. And then promptly went to bed and was wide awake at two o'clock in the morning. And I don't know what the heck I did to my left elbow, but I fell asleep on my right side. And when I woke up at 2 a.m., I was on my back and I could barely move my arm. It was in excruciating pain, my left arm, my left elbow. And I was like, what the heck? Why is my left arm, my left elbow hurting so badly? I repositioned myself and tried to relieve, get my arm, my left arm in a position that had the least amount of pain and fall back asleep. And I had no luck with that. So after struggling for about 20 minutes, I finally just woke up because I was literally wide awake at that point. I put some Icy Hot on my elbow and the elbow started to feel a little bit better at rest with me sitting up with my arm, my left arm at about a 90 to 100 degree angle. I am in serious pain today. Then this morning when I got up, I noticed my feet are hurting, my ankles, my toes, my knees, my hips. Not so much my hips as my knees and my feet. Now, it's not just my arm, my left arm, but my right knee. I, I don't know what to think of my body this morning. I am sore, legit sore. And that's after what? Just a handful of workouts at the gym. But this is what happens when you take three years off intense physical fitness. And it's clear that... I need to do this and it's a good thing that I rejoined the gym. I mean, I made that comment and put those before pictures in my uh, last video to kind of demonstrate that I did not realize that I look like that in the mirror. I d my bathroom mirror stops about waist level. So I don't see my full self in the mirror at all like ever. And I don't see myself in pictures very much at all. As you could tell in one of my recent videos, I included pictures from before I had this most recent weight gain. And it was hard to find pictures of myself full length. It is sporadic in its month. Months can go by between images. And that's why I, you know, had like in that period of August to December of 2020, I had no pictures of me full length during that time period. That's one of my goals is to take regular pictures of myself full length. But I also wanted to talk to you guys about something else. So much of my content recently has been fitness focused. And this is something that happened yesterday that executive director I was telling you about. I've done a couple other shorts and um, content videos that pertain to interactions with her and things I've witnessed with her. I have not had a personal interaction with her much at all. But recently, I've noticed an increase in her bad attitude and bad behavior. She is retiring. She's resigned her position. She's got about, I think, six months left on her contract, something like that. <clears throat> and I cannot wait for her to be gone, truthfully. She curses and flies off the handle about the stupidest stuff. And so I've increasingly kind of like stayed away from her. I don't want anything to do with someone like that. Let me ask you guys a question. How would you feel or how do you feel when someone points out something that you screwed up? Generally speaking, I think most of us, if we're healthy, probably appreciate when someone gently and intelligently and respectfully points out where we might have fallen short or screwed up. I certainly do. I have been known to have struggles with people telling me that I'm wrong about something or making me feel, this is the kicker right here, as though I'm stupid. 
And so I've, in certain occasions, not all the time, in certain occasions where I have felt someone has inappropriately corrected me, I have given pushback or defended my position or whatever. But as a general rule, if someone very lovingly and respectfully and privately addresses me about something that I screwed up on, I have an appreciation for that. I really do. And especially the last couple of years that I've been striving to be a healthier person and more logically thinking and not emotionally driven or reactive, I have put into practice a concerted effort to not be offended when people point out the error of my ways or if I screw up. My kids have done it. My husband's done it. I've invited them to feel free to do this. And um, when others correct me and it's inappropriate, I have found a certain level of, you know what, don't take it personally. They're not addressing it properly, but there's nothing you can do about that. Like improvements in the way I've handled correction. I'm grateful for that improvement because something happened yesterday with this executive director that just blew my mind. I've never had this happen. I'm 50 years old. I've never had a person actually act like this. I've never seen a person act like this. Yesterday, I was finishing up a project and my boss has been gone. And so she had the executive director review my project and finalize it and approve it. And the executive director in, in this project had a lot to it. It is It was the kind of thing that was not the norm and it had a lot of changes to it. And it was a big project. And there was one teeny tiny little thing that the executive director caught and we were in closed doors in my office and when she when she caught it I said oh my gosh my I said I'm so glad you caught that thank you so much let me reprint it and so you can re review the final draft and she goes okay I'll grab something to eat or something to drink for, and she'll come back and it was going to be like just two minutes. So she walks towards the office door and whips it open and waves her arms around like this. I'm not kidding you. And she's going, I found an error. I found an error. Oh my gosh, I'm good. And she went on like that. I'm not exaggerating. Scout's honor. I'm not exaggerating. She literally whipped the office door open, made a huge, loud deal, like was dancing, waving her arms around about this little tiny error. And it was like, I mean, it literally, it's like catching a spelling error. That's how insignificant it was. She made a huge deal out of it. And I had already thanked her and said, thanks for catching that. I'm glad you got it. I'll reprint it. And it had basically blown over, but she made a huge deal out of this little error that she caught. And I, that's the sort of thing that number one is so immature, stupid. And, and this describes the kind of person she is. But all I see is this jealous, petty, obnoxious, um, selfish, single-minded, person shell of a person that is just embarrassing herself and making a fool of herself but the old Ian would have been super pissed about this and this is what I wanted to tell you guys about is when that sort of thing happens I don't know how you guys would react but I was shocked because at first I felt inside me what the flip is going on what is she doing and so there were other co-workers that was in the office and heard her and I don't know if anybody said anything or reacted I in the first few seconds I was so stunned I was like what the hell and then after it happened I was surprised because I went wow what a child instead of internalizing it and getting super 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 upset I was like oh my gosh and blew it off but get this, a little while later after she came back in and reviewed the final draft and approved it and I got it done, I was walking past someone's desk, the administrative assistant, and she whispered to me, are you okay? And I was like, well, yeah, I'm great. Thanks for checking. Why? You know, and she said, well, it just seems like it's a really stressful day. And I was like, oh, no, I'm fine. And I think that she 
caught on to how inappropriate the executive director had been behaving. And I, of course, was not going to let this get to me, nor was I going to gossip about it or talk to this other person about it. I just thought to myself later, huh, I think someone else picked up on it and was checking in with me. And I responded to her, thanks for asking. There's a part of me that thinks, why is she singling me out? I'm confident it has to do with that personality style, that personality style where she needs someone to prop up her ego and that kind of person seeks out and then takes advantage of people who are kind and loving and people like me. It's incredible the diversity of personalities in the workplace. I hope you guys take care and you're having a great day and I hope that your workplace is not giving you these kinds of challenges. Thanks so much for tuning into Whole Wellness with Anne today, guys. Till next time, bye.